Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe down below. And without much further ado, let's get on with the video. Today, I know that we are going to Annick Castle, which we went to last year, as I said in my previous vlog, that all the stuff about it, so go and watch that for me to explain that. Um, also, right now we're going to collect our pot that I made, I think, two vlogs ago. I have no clue how that's going to turn out because I didn't paint the whole thing, so hopefully it worked because fandom mug was what I was aiming for and I think I did that. Hopefully it looks nice. So that's what we're going to do right now. Great mug! Okay, this is Hungry Games. This is Supernatural. This is The Flash. This is Game of Thrones. This is Once Upon a Time. This is Sherlock. That's really badly come out. This is Once Upon a Time. Captain America, that great star right there. Mickey Mouse, obviously. I didn't put the stalk on the apple! This one is Supernatural. This one is a really bad divergent thing. This is YouTube, because YouTube is Bay. This is Atlantis. I don't know. This is Hannibal. This is kind of like Scarfy from uh, Starkid, but it's also kind of like Tom Baker Scarf, but it isn't because that's not the colour of Tom Baker Scarf, really. And inside we have the Angel re Repulsion. No, this, I said this in my other video. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. And then on the bottom, we have a poop and my initials. Yay! It's cute! Ah, oh, it's so cute! That is definitely too close, though. But I wish I put the this, like, there. But I make it. It's nice. Yay! When we were here last year, Downton Abbey was filming and they were, uh, had all their cars down there and it was pretty cool. They had like all the people that were helping with stuff on their belts and that's what I want to do. Yeah. I want to do this tour. When we were here, they were filming we're an episode where in. they all go hunting and they were all around this bit and they were all in here and so we couldn't go in there, but now we're going in there. Yeah! I couldn't film anything inside the staterooms because of reasons, but they had an ex exhibition about Downton Abbey, which is weird because we were here when they were filming that episode, which is weird. But yes, that was there, and then we had lunch and just went to the shop. Now we're going on the film location tour, if we get there in time, hopefully we do. It should be just there. and the Philosopher's Stone. So, in one scene, just after Harry, Ron and Hermione's one lesson where they learn how to levitate feathers with Professor Flitwick, so their child's lesson, they walk out of this area here. You can see the lantern in the shop as well. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> she's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. I think she heard you. Would you like to hear a little spoiler? Because some people are really sad to hear about this. Some cinema magic. So it's kind of magic, but it's not wizard magic. So when you say, oh, and you have a broomstick on the ground, it doesn't really go up in your hand. <laughs> so, for this to happen, they tied some clear string to the ends of the broomsticks. They threaded it through the actor's sleeves. And then members of the production crew stood out of shot holding the string. And then when some of the actors said up, they pulled, and that caused the broomsticks to go up. We just did the film tour of Annick Castle, and Harry Potter, the first two films were filmed here, and we had some insight into what bits were filmed here. The broomstick scene when they first learned to go on a broomstick was here. Um, what else? Oh, when um, Harry and Malfoy go up, and it happens to be in the window. Like scared Potter. There, there's a lion thing just like there, and then there's like a window to the side of it. That's where um, McGonagall looked out and then was like, "Harry, duh." So yeah, and also over there behind me on that field is where they put up the Quidditch pitch. The 2015 Christmas special of Downton Abbey was filmed here apparently last week. They have very nice costumes. <coughs> yeah, they have really nice costumes. Um, Made of biscuits. Yeah, also the tower there, that's the lion and then McGonagall's window which is like there on the side. That tower is actually Gryffindor Tower and there's a lion on it because that was there before and they left it as Gryffindor Tower and they left the lion and stuff, they didn't cover it up because Gryffindor lions. Yes. Also, apparently this gate was used, and then on this lawn, just here, 
is where the broomstick scene happened and then up there up there is where Neville got stuck and then came down hit a lamp and then fell and broke his wrist also apparently they did the first scene in which Harry, Ron and Hermione meet each other and the sweet trolley the in the thing over there which is just actually a like conference roomy place for weddings and stuff they put a train wait they put a train carriage in there and apparently they put a train carriage and put it in Ow. there i think that's what she meant and then they shook it because they were going to do it on a train but it was too movable wobbly Move wobbly there you go it was too wobbly so they put a train car in there and that's where that scene was done okay so you people know the whomping willow from the second harry potter film second book etc well it was actually the film bit was just here the whomping willow was put there but and the they put like snow on the floor because it was meant to be it made a paper. winter but it was really just little tiny bits of paper that they'd thrown everywhere and apparently it was really hard to take it off the surrounding walls oh, here is where Hagrid who my brother is being is talking to Hermione, Ron and Harry and the way they did it was they got Hagrid can't remember the actor's name very sorry about that they got him and put him on this thing and then done that. Also this time last year on this road here where we're walking down was where we saw loads of Downton Abbey cars and a horse and carriage going up here. So up this way. Also that is the door to Hogwarts which you see Harry, Ron and Hermione go in and the other people so that's what this road is and what that is. So that is technically what Hogwarts is. This castle is part of Hogwarts and apparently so is Oxford and the cathedral somewhere that I can't remember the name. Also, this mound right here, this is where Hagrid's hut was. It was like here. And then those trees there is the entrance to the Forbidden Forest. Right now we are going back to the garden area. We're not actually going into the gardens because that costs more money, but we're going to go and get an ice cream, I think, if it's still open. And then we're going to go back to the um, resort and pack because we're going home tomorrow. I got my usual vanilla and strawberry ice cream with a flake. We are leaving Annick Gardens and Castle area and going back into the car. It's only about 20 minutes back to our caravan but after that I think we're just packing up. I'm not sure if we're actually going out again today. I do like Annick Castle. I feel like it's one of my favourite castles because it's that kind of... I'm into the whole filming and everything that goes behind filming and the fact that Downton Abbey was filmed here and Harry Potter was filmed here and they like, I mean one of the things that was filmed here, I think it was called Elizabeth, I think that's what the tour guide was saying, yes. they lifted up the grass and took it away for like a two minute scene and it took them like a week, no, a couple of days to film and they took away the grass and then brought it back again, like they took the grass just to film a two minute scene, which I find really cool, but yeah that's why I like Annick, plus I like Harry Potter and etc. Um, my arm hurts. But also, I took a picture that I took last year. I'm wearing exactly the same clothes. My hair is exactly the same. My makeup is almost exactly the same. And I took the exact same picture in exactly the same spot. Like, it was almost perfect, but I'll put a little picture of it here. George got prawn linguine. Dad got a burger called the Scotsman. Yay! again we are back in the caravan for our last sleep in Northumberland I am extremely tired I still need to pack everything in here because literally I've done nothing yet so that's what I should be doing instead of doing this but yeah I finished Woman in Black it took me two days 
Um, I do recommend it, but it is very descriptive in every sentence, basically. I read a sentence that was about a paragraph long. I mean, if you mean a paragraph like this big, it, it was its own paragraph. And it was a very long sentence, just to describe, like, the wind. But it's a very good book, and it has a very abrupt ending that you're kind of just like... Okay then. If any of you have seen the play of The Woman in Black, it's very similar to the book. The film is not so much similar to the book. The book doesn't have dead children in it, really. I mean, it's suggested because of what it is. Spoilers. Um, but yeah, the film is completely different, really. Other than the base plot that there's a woman in black. Um, it's very good. I really liked it. I need to start packing, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like my vlogs. Um, also, comment down below, do you like the film Woman in Black? Because I know quite a few people don't like it, even though I absolutely love it, just because it's it's not scary, but it's jumpy, and it, it does it well. So, yes. Um, tomorrow, no clue what's going to happen. All I know is we're going home, but we usually do something beforehand, as I said earlier. Until next time... Bye! There's my dad under his gate. So funny!